Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Minus Solo, watching your tech and coding channel, My Code Works. So guys, in this video, we are going to install Dweaver in Windows 10, and the same process you are going to follow for Windows 11. So let's get started. And if you have subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe and click on bell icon for more updates. So let's jump into this new tab and search for Dweaver. Download. Okay. And we are going to visit official site of Dweaver.io. And we are going to download the community version okay it's a free universal database uh, tool okay so let's click on this uh, windows installer and this mac os linux so if you want to install for mac os and linux you can go with this respective installer so i have windows so let's click on windows installer and uh, once we click uh, let's download it right so downloads and then it will uh, download within a seconds so if you see here it's almost uh, downloaded and uh, once it's downloaded we are going to click on open button so this close okay so let's click on open open button and let's uh, install this click on next i agree here we have two options if you want to go with the first option then we need to provide the admin privilege if you want to install for uh, your user only without admin privilege you can go with the for me only so let's click on next i don't want to include java because i already installed so let's click on next next and next everything so hardly it will take one minute to install this dweaver community in our system let's wait for that so dweaver is now installed in our system and let's uh, create this shortcut and open it click on this Dweaver okay so Dweaver is now installed in our system and let's close everything and uh, if you see here if you want to create a connection you can click on this one and you can create a number of DB connections uh, for separate separate databases so MariaDB and this MySQL, Oracle, Postgres, SQL Server, SQLite lot of things are there right so S2 even S2 database even though SQL access and as well as uh, Excel files also you can access so these are the things are there you can connect and create the connection so if, suppose Postgres if you have then you can write the host here and port number and the database name as well as username and password and click on finish it will create a connection and your database will be added here and once you added you can create a SQL script open SQL script from here new SQL script and you can write the SQL script here as well as once you write the script you want to execute you just need to select the DB and then you can click on this execute SQL query it will execute the things okay thanks for watching this video uh, I hope you are able to install this DBver in your system and if you face any issues please let me in the comment section and yeah we'll meet in this video till that bye bye happy installation